hello friends welcome back to code tonight so today's video is a special about uh, how to use chat gpt for our programming task okay so we have all uh, heard about chat gpt and it's uh, uh, good usage in the programming field and so we will see like how you can use it for your uh, productivity okay so for example i will just show you like uh, how you can make queries into this and how to modify those queries okay so um, we have this asp.net mvc project here and i will just clear this out okay so now this is a blank action now suppose what we want to do is we want to know how to call apis in asp.net mvc okay so now how to query that is uh, we will first say hi chat gpt uh, so you have to treat it like a normal human human being okay that's how it will react okay so now we have to say uh, can you tell me how to call api in asp.net mvc okay now once you query that now it will again look for and it will reply with the um, specific code that we have to use for um, sending the api okay so now it is telling you about the class that it will use and about the url that it will add and so it will provide you a code sample and uh, that will be as per your requirement okay so now see and uh, this is a sample for the get async api and suppose now but you don't want the get api okay so what it will what you will do is uh, can you give me example for post api and now it will modify in the previous result and it will provide you a code that will be specially for the post api so now you can see that the result is here okay so now we will just copy that and we will post it over here okay so now the most chances are there that it will not work in the first attempt because sometimes it gives results which are not as per your requirement for example you see uh, it is giving error over here so this is this happens sometimes while using chat gpt so uh, you can go up and see if you know how to get this so we know we can get it from here so we will just add that over here and that resolves our issue okay so now suppose uh, we have some requirement so it is just sending one json object over here okay now suppose you have a requirement where uh, you want to post uh, some file data over there okay so now here we will go again and we will ask some modification into this api okay so um, you can say i want to send one file also with the data to the api so now what it will do is it will uh, again modify the same code and will make it so it can accept the uh, files also so now what you can do is you can again uh, copy the data okay and now you can again paste it here so now see what it has done is it has added this file stream over here okay uh, which is basically uh, for the um, data okay so see now you don't have this file stream and suppose um, you want to get the data from a local file okay so now what you can do is you can again ask it to modify the code okay like how we will say that okay so can you pick the file from any local folder and send to api okay now it will again modify the previous code and it will again come up with some um, changes okay so now here uh, it has given some code which doesn't not match your requirement because we just wanted one uh, one file that we wanted from the um, local folder okay so 
in some scenarios when this happens you can again uh, tell the chat gpt that you don't require this or like whatever your specific requirement is you can again ask it to modify so like if you go back to your code now we want this file stream which we don't know which from where we'll get this okay so now what you can do is how to convert local file to a file stream in c sharp okay so now it has given code to um, convert the file stream okay so now we will just copy that part and we will paste it over here okay so now it has the file file stream so this is giving error because um, we have to add specifically okay so now you can see that this is a uh, complete code that uh, in which you are also sending the file and also sending the json object okay so now you can uh, use this code uh, for your work so like what uh, i am trying to say is you don't have to always specifically ask chat gpt about your requirement you can ask something relative and then you can ask it to modify the queries as per your requirement okay so like for example like uh, we can um, try with something else also okay so we can say how to or we can get any sql query that you have in your mind you can ask this uh, to this okay so like uh, how we can query from sql table using group by and then it will give you one example uh, which will follow the uh, group by statement and also uh, the samples okay so now uh, suppose if you have some query and you want to optimize that query then also simply what you can do is you can copy that so that must be your query okay and you can say can you optimize this query and if you will post this and press enter then it will uh, optimize that so if there are chances that can be optimized it will do that if there are no chances then it will tell that it is not possible or something so because this query is already optimized so it can't do much about that but you can use your sql queries and optimize them here easily okay so and this is how you can like use chat gpt for your uh, functionalities and um, let us know if you have any feedback on this and let us know if you are facing still any issue so thanks for watching guys